Yo, what is good? We are going to talk about the achievements in Eternal Lands. So we're going to start with the expedition plan. And we're just going to talk over a few. So the time limited scheme is exactly what it says on the tin. All of the achievements here are done by time, usually 24 hours. So the first one is all zones build a total of 50 alliance forts in eternal land that's the whole map there needs to be 50 alliance forts we've already done it as you can see at the top it says writing expedition stories 50 out of 50 so <clears throat> when ta resets in 13 hours and 33 minutes everyone will get these rewards that's it done the next one is when the time is up your alliance is conquering one expedition outpost there are four expedition outposts in your section, so every alliance should at least easily be able to get at least one within this time. Now, depending on how your server's set up, it might be through one alliance, it might be through two. That's where the time limited scheme is a bit different because of how a server will be set up. So make sure that you understand that, especially if you're you know, going for certain rewards. If we go to the alliance scheme, this is where you as an individual need to carry your weight, but also your alliance needs to be carrying their weight. So, for example, the building scheme achievement, individually build alliance facilities for 30 minutes. That's all I need to do is just be building in a building for 30 minutes. That's my individual job done. Now, the rest of my alliance has to total 5,000. If we can't hit 5,000, then I don't get the rewards either. So it's not just about me doing my job, but it's also about the alliance as a team, as a unit, doing the job together. So everyone needs to make sure that they're on job. Otherwise, certain people will miss out. So if the whole alliance does it, but you only do 29 minutes, you're not getting these rewards. And the rewards are voted on. So you see the hearts. So here, I can change my vote from the capsules to the experience book but I, I want the capsules the capsules make more sense so the next mission scheme will be radar mission so i just got to do five and then the alliance has to do a thousand total which should be fairly straightforward that's if you've got 100 people them 100 people doing 10 like it's fairly straightforward and then those keep going and as you can see, the rewards do get kind of juicy. So then Warzone Scheme, same thing, except it, instead of it being the Alliance, you're looking at the Warzone. So individually, make sure you kill five Dark Forces and your whole entire Warzone, your whole server kills 2,000. It's fairly straightforward. So if everyone, pretty much if everyone does their job, you get these rewards anyway. It's when you slack on your individual achievements um you won't get the rewards individual achievements the expedition achievements so the first one is participate in constructing alliance buildings for 1000 minutes if you send multiple marches it will add up a lot quicker if you said one march it will just count the one march but if you send multiple it will multiply and you'll finish this a lot quicker so that's a tip for the building and constructing buildings. Killing enemy units in eternal lands. That will happen with dusty trucks when they leave their march attached to the truck. It will happen in the arc and it will happen in neutral building fights. It will happen. You just have to get involved with the fights and be smart as well. Don't go running headlessly into one where you're not even going to scratch the surface. <clears throat> this is a new one for Eternal Lands. Uh, and by Eternal Lands, I mean for my experience in SVS servers such as TA. Kill 50 Valhalla units of other commanders in Eternal Lands. Obviously, now that we've progressed so far into the game within the server, most people are level 80 and have unlocked Valhalla units. Some people won't be level 80. So this will be a lot harder for you to achieve because you won't have Valhalla units to compete with those who have the tech. So 
this might not be reachable for everybody. And that's just something you have to understand. It may not even be reachable for me. I don't think I'm going to kill 2,500 Valhalla units. I've only got 20. So again, sometimes some of them will not be achievable just because of where you are in the game and that's fine. Individual honor, you get honor from killing dark forces, you get honor from farming, you know, just do do the same thing, do the things you need to do every day. You'll get honor from certain events. Your honor will increase as long as you're getting involved. Your honor will increase. Killing dark forces, fairly straightforward. Self-explanatory, you've been doing it for goodness knows how long. Collect 30 minutes in the special resource area. So the special resource area is an area of the map that will open up when the timer runs down. So you've got 61 hours until it opens up and it's in this area. So click the coordinates, it will take you there. As an as just as an example, this is one of them. This is nowhere near us, but this is just one of them. This is also where the dusty trucks happen. So you'll get a dusty truck from these things. But the resource, special resource area will appear in this point and you'll see food, you'll see oil, you'll see gem mines. Um, I don't know if you'll see Odinium mines because this is obviously Eternal Land, slightly different and I've not experienced it myself. But this is where you're expected to farm for the resource area. So we have participate in two arc fights. This is very very easy to do, but a lot of people miss it because they're not online when the arc fights start. Arc fights are at 5 p.m. GMT, which is normal top war reset. Whenever your top war is reset, that's when the arc fights are. Eternal land reset is two hours before that. So keep that in mind. You can send one troop into the arc and it will count. So for those who are extremely lower levels, let's say you're in your 60s, 70s, low 70s, and you're getting slapped every time you go in there by a level 80, send one troop, get your arc fights done, get your tokens, get your shards, get out legit it's 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 honestly not worth it and you probably have to wait until maybe the server leaders decide that oh can we do a day where these levels do arc fights because they need to get their kills for their enemy units etc um so treasure collector successfully defeated two lost treasure guards the Lost Treasure Guards are in the same area as the special resources. So we'll go here. These are Lost Treasure Guards. They will give you dusty trucks. So once you've done those, you can have you defeat these. They'll give you dusty trucks. You defend your trucks or you have someone else defend your trucks. If you don't defend your truck, your stuff will be stolen. Um, you could, they can only steal 75% of your supplies 25% will always make it back so you have to defeat 40 of those and then you have to attack dusty trucks you have to attack 80 dusty trucks that you get 10 dusty truck attempts per day so even if it's sending one tank realistically you should be sending your whole march follow the red lines back i'll explain this later when they actually start but realistically you're sending your whole march and trying to win kills and defeating the truck if you attack the truck and lose it still counts as an attack so just make sure you get your attacks in every day do your 10 dusty trucks do your lost treasures Lost Treasures will resupply. So you get five total and they will resupply over time. Donate to Tribal Tech. It's fairly straightforward. Just make sure you're donating. 
gain military tokens, you gain military tokens by fighting people, losing units or killing units. That's how you gain that. And then you have alliance achievements. This is something your alliance needs to do collectively. So you can read through that. And to be honest, I, re I really just focus on your individual stuff for now. The alliance stuff will come. It depends on how well your alliance does. So that is that for this video. I don't think I have anything else in terms of achievements to talk about. So peace out.